he probably thought that he could stop this guy from killing this woman hi guys welcome back to our channel i am dewey and yeah, this is kian and we are the olawunis um today we just wanted to bring a story to you all um we're not sure if you've heard of it but um there was a hero driver who was um, who mowed down a killer ex-husband so basically there was a woman she had a like really abusive ex-husband she got a restraining order against him and he ended up tracking her down and stabbing her multiple times and there was like a guy who was driving nearby um and he saw this happening and he decided to you know try and get involved other people were there trying to stop the man already but he was like wielding the knife at them trying to like get them yeah. away what was I supposed to say? No, 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 I thought you wanted to say something. No, I'm just saying, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, we'll, since, since yeah. now that I've got the floor, I'm about yeah, to say something. Now, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll do the knife um, at everyone. So then, because he was in his car, he felt like he was in the position where he was able to help. Yeah, and he then used his car to, to um, try and stop the man yeah. and ended up killing when left the. Where? ex that was you know very abusive apparently the guy went, went under, underneath the car yeah that's how crazy you so you know what yeah okay let's finish the story first so talk the, about this so the guy has now released a statement through his lawyer um and this was on monday he, he last monday that he, that this happened um so he said um so the guy said, the guy, the hero guy, said it was never my intention to harm him. I just wanted to stop him from hurting anybody further. I understand that the police are doing their job and that my being arrested is not unusual. However, I do not see why I, as a person who tried to assist in defense of another human being, remains being arrested on bail on the suspicion of murder. I have asked my solicitor to contact the Met Police to request they consider de-arresting me and begin treating me as a witness to this tragic event rather than a criminal as they currently are. Um, he said, my instant thought was to protect the woman who had been stabbed and the public who were always also being threatened. I drove my vehicle towards the attacker in order to get him away from the woman he was attacking. I did not intend to harm the attacker, I only intended to protect those being attacked. My vehicle struck the attacker and he was taken under my car causing it to stall. I could not reverse my car to free him. If you reverse, you'd have killed him even more, you'd have destroyed yeah. him even more. He said, I am deeply sorry that the man I tried to stop from attacking other people has died my god my only regret is that god did not allow me to be present at the scene sooner so that my intervention may have saved the life of the young woman cons concerned but yeah right. so yeah that's basically what he said so king what do you think about all of this all right okay what well, what is up okay uh, it's a bit upsetting what's upsetting about it yeah, is the fact that you try to do something right and then this is what it did to you. You know what the joke is here? Yeah? If he didn't do nothing, if he no, if he did what it did, and then he got the guy away, but not killed the guy, oh hero, 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 he's probably gonna get a medal. But now it's done what he needs to do. He did that, and then now obviously the guy is that uh, the guy died. Now he's a murderer, blah blah blah. What kind of life are we living in? You can't help people. They'll use it against you if it goes wrong. If you if it goes right, then you know what I'm saying, then they'll praise you. I also feel like the law they need to change the law, they need to bend it up. And, well, the laws are meant to be broken. They're there, but they're what? meant to be broken. Yeah, laws, oh, are, oh, laws oh. are made to be broken. <laughs> okay. How many times they say, you don't drive 20 miles, but you're doing 30 miles? Yeah, but that's that's Police that's themselves even do the same as all. Well. You know what I'm saying? I was driving the other day and police is doing 90 on a 70 mile road without, without the siren. Come on, they're breaking the law. But anyway, back to the story. Yeah, I just feel like they need to free up this guy. And reward him. Sorry to the family of the guy, the victim. I mean, the yeah, the victim and the killer. You know what I'm saying? Sorry to his family. I'm not sorry for him per se because what he's doing is wrong. 
but obviously I'm happy to him but I feel the assaulted family and the victim family and then this young man 26 years old as well mm. yeah it's just a, it's just a shame man you know mm. I mean vigilante he's, he's trying to be a vigilante at that moment you know I don't know if he kicked him he did what he needed to do mm. to be honest with you would I have done that I can't say I would or I would have not done that but if when I see something like that you would want to protect automatically want to protect mm. you know especially when you're in a position to do the rest of people the rest of the people couldn't do that because they probably on feet on foot and then he's got the knife you know swinging it you're in a car you're much more safer i think that's why he just did what he needed to do but unfortunately he turned left man it's a very sad story to be honest it's a very sad story but i just feel like they need to really they need to release the guy i think the first rule of self-defense is that it has to be necessary and proportionate i th- feel like in this, this in this situation everything that he did i feel was necessary and it was very very proportionate someone is wielded a knife even as you know a security or as a nurse or whatever you're trained that you don't tackle someone that's got a weapon you call the police the police are nowhere to be found at this moment in time so the guy felt like he was in a position he probably thought that he could stop this guy from killing this woman so he, what he did was very very necessary it was very very proportionate in my in in my it was, it was justifiable, very reason- was it? yeah it's justifiable it's justifiable. reasonable but the thing about this country is that they don't like jungle justice back in nigeria this this he would have been praised like the, even the whole uh, the whole community would have got out put tire on that man the man that st- was stabbing his ex they would have put a tire over his head and they would have set him on fire i'm not saying that um jungle justice is right but i feel like what this man did wasn't even up to that and i think he didn't know this guy knew where he had, he had no mo- other motive to cause this man any other harm and he's already put out a statement saying that he didn't mean to kill this man if he had intent, then that's a different case, but he never had okay. intent to kill this man. Once someone made a video about this, early, like, um, on one of the channel like that, um, and he said, maybe because he's Muslim. What do you guys think about that? Leave that in the comments below. Like, do you think it's about him being a Muslim? That's or why because of his race? His, well, race, yeah, religion, maybe that's why, because I was, when, he, when I watched that video and the guy mentioned that, I actually thought about it, I'm like, you know what? If it was, if it, maybe that that could also be the reason why they're trying to charge you. To be honest, I think that's a hundred percent fact so. because when other races do something, they'll label it as maybe oh he was mental, unwell, mental health, that he, yeah. yeah they'll say mental. Health. But when it's a certain different type of race, they be like it's yeah, terrorism, yeah. is this, is that, yeah. is Islamic, blah blah blah, and which is unfair, man. which is like, really unfair. Like, yeah, so. I just think that there's definitely some discrimination in this case and I'll say that with my chest I don't think he should be treated as a criminal he should definitely be treated as a witness the only way I can even say okay cool maybe they should arrest him for murder is if you Mur- if, wait hold on if he ran over the guy and then pulled back and then ran him again and again and again and flattened him up then that means yeah now obviously you can't justify that now, and he also said that they, him and other people tried to lift the car up because he didn't want to. He didn't want to um, reverse back yeah, because then obviously he will crush him yeah. again. So him and other people actually tried to save the man as well, but you know that's, he was he was a, he was too to quick though. to be trying to kill somebody. That's too that's a sad way to go though. Like getting crushed by a car. But he's a fool, man. Mm-hmm. And the end of the way, sorry to the lady. That's all I can. Do. That lady getting stabbed. I think it was one in the daytime. Yeah, it was in there, I think so, yeah. Nah, that's crazy, man. Anyway, it's really what, sad. what would Breast- you guys do, though? Like, yeah. What would you guys have done? What would you know, think about it. Put yourself in that position. What would you have done if you saw that? You know, yeah. Like, Rest in peace to the lady. Rest in peace like, to the lady, man. I hope you find peace where you are now. The criminal justice system didn't do you right because she actually put in a restraining order against this man and he still had the opportunity to get within the length and do that to her like women are told you if you're in an abusive relationship leave if he doesn't leave you alone get a restraining order go the legal route this woman was strong enough to leave an abusive relationship and still she ended up dead 
It's like, what can you do? Well, you know what it is, yeah? When that kind of thing, this kind of situation, where there's a restraining order and you still manage to come and then kill, stab the woman, he is ready to die. The guy is ready to go to prison, die, doesn't care about whatever happens to him. Mm. So uh, that's why that kind of thing, you know, she can't help it, he's ready to go. So yeah. it doesn't matter what, he, he, he just didn't plan to go like, you know, someone ramming him over. He's probably thinking he's going to go to jail for life and then, you know, in 20 years, appeal for um, a role that means he's there. Oh, it's gonna mm. go the, it's gonna go through the mental health route. That's yeah. what I was probably thinking it was gonna do. Mm. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, yeah, like if you have a, well, go fund me for the lady, the victim. You can put that in the uh, link below. You know, we can we can share that. And if we that. need to pay for the man's legal fees as well, put it down. We need to, we need to free yeah. free our guy. Free okay. Our guy. Free our guy. There's a petition to free him, you know, put that there in the link below as well, you know, in the comments and then we can obviously support the, the movements and everything guys man, so. But guys, if you see someone getting hit, please don't go and kill them because we're not we're, no. disclaimer. We're not we're not saying vigilantes we're not, we're vigilante. or jung, jungle justice is right. Yeah, it's not we're right. just talking about this specific situation. So please do not use our words because or do something that you shouldn't be doing. And by the way, guys, boy, uh, we'll done. see you guys later. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> like, comment. You didn't say anything. Like, comment, you subscribe, said it share. So many times. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Okay. <laughs> Peace. Bye.